Here's the work associated with the slideshow. It's figure your net pay or your take home pay. You're going to have be given three different situations, situation A, B, and C. Okay. So first of all, Trevor Phelps, congratulations. You are now getting a regular paycheck. High five, buddy. Although your annual salary is 30 grand, you know that there are several deductions that will be taken out of your paycheck. Use the data provided in the chart below to calculate your net pay, also known as your take home pay for each pay period. All right, so situation A right here. Hey, look, Trevor, it's done for you, buddy. Okay, it's done for you. So here's your gross pay per month. It's 1250. You have a retirement fund contribution pre-tax. You're not doing anything for that. So your taxable pay is right here. 1250 bucks. Well, what's your federal income tax? Okay. Well, up here. Income tax, income tax. I think they gave that to us. So they just said it's $129 taken out. Okay, so uh, your state income tax is going to be 4.63% of taxable income. So how do we figure this out? So what's your taxable income? 1250. So we get out our trusty dusty calculators. I know it gives you the answer, but we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Okay, so 1250. Okay, and you're gonna multiply that by you can take your decimal move in two places to the other side, right? So multiply that by 0. 0.4463. Okay, it's going to be 57.87. Hey, look, it's the same. We got it. So that's how you figure out your state income tax. They're going to give us the federal income tax number. So your Medicare costs, okay, the same thing that we just did with the income tax. It's a percent of your taxable income. Here's your taxable income. So you're going to have to take 1.45% for Medicare FICA tax. So you got to move your decimal place two places to the left, right? Correct? All right, so we're going to take 1250. We're going to multiply it by 0. 0.0145. And that's going to be... Eighteen dollars and twelve cents. Eighteen dollars and twelve cents. These are this is all numbers that is getting subtracted from this. Okay. So what's our total tax deduction? Well, you're going to add this number and this number, and you're going to get this number. Okay. So that's your total tax deduction. These two. You know what I'm going to do though? I'm going to switch something. Because you need these FICA tax. <laughs> it doesn't make a lot of sense the way it's set up. So this tax deduction should be down here. Let's just take this. Put this here. Pardon me while I do things mid. Take our total tax deduction and put it in here. This makes more sense. Actually, okay. What did I did? What did I just do? I made it make more sense. So we're going to call this 9.5. No, we're going to take the total tax deduction out of there completely. It's going to be open. So, what we need to do is we need to subtract these all from this, okay? Because they're all deductions, and this is going to be your total. This is what's going to eat. So you have union dues. Every paycheck is fifteen seventy one, and Social Security FICA tax. Remember how to figure out the FICA tax? Move your decimal place two places to the left. Take it and you multiply it against 
is what we're trying to get. And then we get the number we're going to put in here, which we did. Okay? And this is your total tax deductions. You know, we don't even need this in here because we're taking all of these, we're adding them together, and getting this number. That's your total deductions. And you're going to, what are you going to take home for pay? I'm going to switch something up right now. Hopefully not confuse you. I'm going to put this back. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to say this right here. I'm going to say net pay. Take home pay. We have to add all of these numbers up, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract it from 1250, and that answer is going to go there. So let's do that now, okay? So let's take 129 plus 57 point eighty seven plus 1812, the year I heard. 1571 plus 7750. Okay, and this says something different. This says 358. I'm not sure why it says 358. It's not working. Let's do it one more time just to make sure we're right. Doesn't make a big move. Total deductions here. One twenty nine plus fifty seven point eighty seven plus eighteen twelve plus fifteen point seventy one plus seventy seven point five zero. 298. I was right. So total deductions is 298.20. So now we got to figure out our net pay or take home pay. Okay, so we're going to subtract. Okay, I just did situation A for you. Okay, this is what your filing status, you're single, you're claiming one person with holding allowance, that means how much money they're holding, and then you're paid semi-monthly, which is twice a month. Okay, so I want you to do this column and this column, okay, and then you're going to do the difference between C and A in this column, and the difference over one year in C and A in this column, okay, alrighty, if you have any questions, let me know.